I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about time, time, give it time. Do you think it needs some time? I think it needs a little of time. Okay. Just a little bit. You know, one thing that I think is really safe to say, most breakups need time. Yes. In my experience, I don't know about yours, most of the breakups happen and the partner needs time to reflect, to realize, and to want to repair things. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. At least what I've come across, people don't typically contact you right away and say, I'm sorry, I want to repair this. They have to go through like an internal process. Absolutely. And I think process is the key word here. Uh, logic is different from process. Logic, you know, you can take one step after the other. But matters of the heart involve process. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, one of the things that is so difficult is sitting with that uncertainty of not knowing if they will reach out or they won't reach out. Right. And it's very difficult to keep yourself in a place of, I'm going to focus on me, and being a better version of myself, regardless if they regardless reach out. Regardless of what they do. Yeah. Right. It's very easy to constantly go on their Facebook or their Instagram and stalk and drive by their work and do all kinds of things that really at the end don't make a difference because they're either going to reach out or they won't. It might alleviate your anxiety that day, but that's all it's going to do. Yeah, yeah, but you can wind up spending a lot of time focusing on things that aren't going to change it. In other words, you may start stalking their Instagram for a couple months, and when you do, you know, you might get a little bit of information, but that information may make you feel a lot worse, and a lot worse than you need to. Because oftentimes you'll see your ex rebound and start dating I was somebody say, else. And if they're dating someone else, you want to do a research project on who this person is. Yes. But at the end of that, it doesn't make a difference. In most cases, they don't wind up with their rebound. Right. And, you know, you'll spend all this time stressed out that they're going to ride off into the sunset, which I've done myself. Yes. <laughs> but then they don't wind up with that other person. No. Okay. And rebounds for obvious reasons. I think we've talked about them relatively recently. Don't usually work, but they certainly panic the person who was left behind. Absolutely. Yeah. So I got a good email from somebody who wanted to share their story with us. They said, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for what you are doing. The wisdom and the knowledge you are sharing is changing lives. We are, you have a tremendous positive impact in my life. The clarity and direction I received when I stumbled on your videos, I will forever be grateful. Well, thank you so much for saying that. Yes, thank you so much. You told me to write you a success story after our Skype coaching, and I gotta tell you, you really are a guru because everything you said has happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good for you, Greg. They said, when I started watching your videos, I was in a place where I was broken, lost, scared, confused, and hopeless. My ex had broken up with me for reasons that made no sense to me. During this time, I made all the mistakes that the mass majority of people will make. I smothered her with emotions, seeking my own selfish agenda to appease my anxiety. I pleaded with her to give me a second chance, to hear me out to forgive me, 
for whatever I did. <laughs> whatever that was. I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. I even begged her for that, that I would change if she gave me another chance. Of course, none of that worked and I plummeted down with more heartbreak and anxiety as she pushed me further away. But, in all honesty, Coach, can you blame us? No, I don't blame you. And I've been very upfront about doing a lot of these behaviors yeah. myself. We are pre-wired, as you stated in your previous videos, to be attached and to share emotions when we sense we are losing our security. We lose sight of reality and the emotional state takes over. And in my case, 10 years of a relationship was not easy to let uh, go. Ten years? No, it wouldn't be. No, that would be devastating, right? No. Your videos gave me direction and clarity. When I heard no contact, it shocked my emotional side to the core, <laughs> as all I wanted to do was fight for my ex, but that pushed her further and further away. Yes. yes. She gave me the final blow, saying, she didn't see a future with me anymore, and she was sorry we are done. And I tell you guys all the time, when somebody says something like that, that's how they're feeling in that moment. But time and time again, we see that time does the trick. It's what you do with that time to become the best version of yourself yeah. that gives you the best chance and having a plan, a strategy on what you're going to do so you don't go and make those same mistakes. But if she'd been with you for 10 years, she wasn't going to forget you in five minutes either. Yeah. I got a hold of your videos at the end of May. I could sense your genuineness and everything you said in your videos. I related and knew you could help me. I began following the no contact and ended my conversation with my ex stating, I'm closing this chapter knowing I tried everything to get you back. I sensed she found someone else. This was the worst feeling in my life, but I knew I had to follow the guidance you gave me, and boy, I'm so glad I did. I watched at least five to six videos a day and scheduled a Skype coaching with you and explained my situation in which you confirmed to go no contact and to work on myself. I did this to the core and followed your guidance I received from you. About a month into it, I received a phone call from an unknown number. I had deleted her number, to which I later found out was my ex. She called and I answered saying, hello, this is Maddie. I changed his name and again saying hello and then I hung up. All I heard was kids in the background and her breathing on the phone. Not going to lie, this call set my emotions on a spiral. So I went back to your videos and got more encouragement and strength to continue working on myself. I lost 18 pounds and have been going to the gym every day. I started exploring my previous passion as a pilot and began going out to social events to which I had never done. Good. It has been amazing. It's as if I'm discovering a whole new person. I have met a lot of women to which I was able to identify their attachment style and what to avoid. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Being an avoidant attachment style, I'm learning to be stable and communicate my feelings with my friends and potential dates and it has helped tremendously. Most dates I have been on have been very successful. I have been dating this new girl who has an anxious attachment style, but I feel I have grown to become very stable and confident that I have been communicating my feelings to her like an adult, and it has been going very well so far. Of course, wow. I waited three months before getting back out there, to which I made the decision after the phone call from my ex to block her as I didn't want to hinder my growth. Wow. At the end of July, I received an email from my ex stating that she 
quote unquote, just wanted to see how I was doing. It's up to me, but I would like to talk to you. Give me a call. Wow, he thought he'd never live to see the day, right? <laughs> he said, what a shot, <laughs> LOL. Time, time, as you said, give it time. Yeah. Coach, thank you for all the help and the advice. I have made the decision to completely move on as I'm discovering an inner happiness and peace with myself to which I probably would have never experienced had this not happened to me. Wow. I will probably, out of respect for my ex, one day meet her and be straightforward with not wanting to be together and thank her for the decision. But I am not at this point in my life right now and I am moving on. It is now her turn to feel the anxiety <laughs> that I felt. We can understand. Good luck, guys, and follow the advice given. And for good or bad, everything happens for a reason, and you'll come out a better person. There is someone out there who will take advantage of you. Respect, communicate, and above all, figure out who you are and learn how to heal from your childhood wounds. Be blessed, coach, and thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this helps for your success stories. It certainly does, and it helps to hear it. That was a great success what story. What a great success story. And I think yeah. so many people are going to relate to him, what he went through, yeah. the mistakes, and a lot of people are going to be shocked that he didn't want the ex when she reached out. When he began to realize he felt better without her. Yes, yeah. and that was an indirect, direct approach. It was a little bit more direct because she was saying, how are you? Um, give me a call. I would like to talk with you. Yeah. Um, I think she's probably realizing now, uh-oh, I miss this I guy. I made a mistake. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be without him anymore. And yeah. now he's saying... I, I love who I am now, and I, I don't want yeah, her back. I grew, and I, yeah, I'm a whole other person now. Yeah. It's amazing when we talk to you guys, and you really sit there and tell me how you're glad for the breakup. Right. And I talked to um, somebody that you know today um, very well, and he's doing very, very well, and he's so, like, he's doing so incredible. And uh, he's going to send us an email so, a Wonderful. success story. He is back with the ex, uh -huh. and it's going phenomenal. As a matter of fact, she's now a huge fan of our channel. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, at one point, she, you know, was, uh, we, we went over everything, because I hadn't talked to him in a solid year. He's still right. been watching yes, the channel. Yes, yes. And uh, the... She was doing kind of um, shady behavior. They were they went on a date, then she canceled. But it, the truth was, she was out on another date. But it's incredible hearing from you guys how um, you become such a different person from the breakup, and you actually become grateful that it happened. And that's an incredible thing it's to incredible. hear. It's um, incredible because you're so at a low point. You're so at a low point. And I think where Craig always says, look to personal growth at that point. It may or may not get you your ex back, but it will certainly make your life better. Absolutely. Yeah. And it takes time. Yeah. It really does. Well, you know, we're an instant society. And I can just think of being a therapist. Um, and I was taught that, you know, therapy is a process and people have to, you know, feel their feelings and think their thoughts and, and look at things. But now everything is instant. Yeah. And we're surprised when things take time. And the, but there, there is a process to things, especially emotional things, and it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the way things look today at this moment, even though it looks absolutely yeah. helpless, does not mean it's going to be the same way in three months or six months or whatever time. You know, you focus on becoming the best version of yourself. You make that your priority every day. And regardless, you may say, I don't want them back. I, I just want to date other people like this guy did. Uh -huh. Or maybe you'll have that ex come back and you'll say, all right, let's give it a shot. But take this time to evaluate who you are and who you want to become. 
You can't go wrong. No, you You'll can't. be a success story no, either can't. way. And we have a choice in who we'll be at any time of life. I've heard recently several people, so-and-so is, you know, 63. They can't possibly change. Anybody can change any time they want. As long as they make the decision they're going to do it? Yeah. As long, and I was talking with one woman all that long ago who had been married to a man for like 40-odd years. And in their old age, she got very involved in some church group and the next thing he was seeing somebody else and she divorced him after like 40 years of marriage and wow. I thought good for her a lot of people would have said well, what's the point now you know good for her she still made a decision to to lead her best life good yeah for her absolutely yeah. um, guys we love to hear your success stories whether you get back with an ex or you decide to move on send them to me on the website I love to hear them I love to share them with everybody it always encourages people during difficult times <clears throat> and you know putting things in perspective like this video do did and this email did helps you realize that how you're feeling today will be different and the more you work on yourself the better your chances are going to be to change or to reattract an ex or to date other people and change your dating life so uh, hopefully you like this video put a like on there for us to su uh, support us subscribe to the channel of course when you got want to get our help personally just go to my website askcraig.net sign up for the coaching option that works best for you I do email coaching I do Skype Margaret is here for Skype coaching feel free to sign up with me I'd love to talk with you just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that but that's it for this video I'm coach Craig Kenneth I'm coach Margaret and we will talk with you soon